So here's what we're making today. We're making two petite four baskets by, by Annie. It's a free pattern. Um, they're easy to make. I made these two in less than an hour. So easy. And they're, it's a good scrap buster too. So go get the pattern. Let's get started. Hi everybody. This is Barbie with Jeannie's Designs and I'm getting ready to do some petite four baskets. It is a free pattern from By Annie. Um, and this is what they are. They're just little baskets. I'm kind of short on them. I don't know why. I think I've given some away. And um, so they're just a great little catch-all. They're not huge. Sorry. Um, but I'm going to make it out of this vinyl and some navy for the interior. So I'm going to make two. Um, they go pretty fast, so I'm just going to make two with uh, you guys. Um, so let's do it. Buy any petite basket. So the first thing to do is to baste your foam on. So I just put some tape there, and I am just going to keep it in place while I just baste it all the way around. Probably not necessary to put your tape. You know, I probably should have thought about that because double side tape isn't cheap. And the pieces are made on purpose bigger, so we will trim that. We're going to be trimming quite a bit of this off anyway, so. The one thing about this pattern is there is a little bit of waste. Um, so just keep that in mind. All right, now we're just going to baste all four sides all the way around. Trim these up. And I am using by any foam. I don't have much of it left, so I decided to use it instead of bozo foam. Bozo foam is thinner, but it's denser. So These also make great gifts to put something inside. You know, when you're given a gift, it's a cute little basket to put things in. Keys, leave it on your counter, put keys, spare change. It's just a great little basket. I use it for clips. Um, I use it for hardware. Just a variety of things, actually. And because I'm putting waterproof canvas inside, you could use it in your bathroom. Yeah. It's up to you. All right, let me get my measuring tools. So on your pieces, you're measuring in a certain distance and you're just marking it. I'm not sure what you can see, but I have a mark here, 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 and here. Okay, I'm gonna do the exact same thing over here. 
and it's a free pattern i might as well tell you it's two and a half inches on the outside now this outside piece is not a perfect square so just keep that in mind doesn't matter i mean that's on purpose obviously so two and a half inches all the way around And then we're gonna stitch on all of those marks. Um, let me just check my thread. All right, we're gonna stitch down all those marks. And then we're gonna cut some away. So you can tell on the back whether you got all your lines. <laughs> Didn't feel like I got them all, but I did. take a minute and just wipe all that uh, ink off. So on the nine inch side on the exterior, we're going to sew just inside that square that we already have on both sides. And then we're going to cut that out. Just is reinforcing that a little bit. short sides. inside that stitch that we just created. I know, feels weird. Works every time. 
I've probably made, oh gosh, I bet I've made 30 of these over time. Okay, so that's what you should have. So it's a little bit of a waste, but that's okay. Just don't cut your threads that you just put in there. Okay, cute. We're gonna repeat that with this side. And I, even though you can really pretty much tell which is the, the nine inch side, I always measure because if you get it wrong, then it's just whatever. those off. I'll keep these just to uh, test tension. It's probably a good use for those. All right, now we are going to fold this right sides together on the long edge. All right, and we're gonna stitch these edges here. Yeah, let me read it while I'm looking here. I don't have to hide the pattern from you, it's a free pattern. It's a very cute pattern. At least it used to be free, I should say. I don't know that still. I'm assuming it is. I don't know. I haven't looked. Yeah. And the seam allowance is um, half an inch. Decrease my stitch length just to. I was on a five and I just changed it to a four. And do that on all four of those sides.
And next, we are going to fold them and box this corner. So here is one box. And fold your seam open, just like that. It's the cutest little thing ever. So just like that, we're gonna stitch along that side at um, a quarter of an inch. So it's a different stitch seam, different seam allowance. This fabric, this blue and green and aqua is from uh, Louise at Sam Fabric Creation. I'm telling you guys, you need to go check out her site. Okay, quarter inch seam allowance. I'm probably gonna run out of bobbin here. I should have checked it. And just splay your seam open. They're so cute. All right, I forgot to do this one. <laughs> Let's do this one. these hair clips just don't do it. They just do not hold things. Turn them right side out. Aren't they cute? Look at that. It's just the cutest little uh, basket. Vinyl basket. You can make them out of cork. You can make them out of cotton. They just are so adorable. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to grab my... Um, Linings, I have to iron it. Hold so on. your linings are a perfect square. And on two sides, you're gonna mark three and a quarter. On each opposite end. And then on the other two ends, you're gonna mark two and a quarter. And then on these uh, narrower ends, we're gonna cut out the center. So on the ends with the, the smallest seam, I'll show you. 
So your biggest seam, I don't know what that is. Oh. Um, your biggest seam is over on this side. It's not really a seam. Your bigger lines, I should say. And now we're just cutting out the smaller boxes. So the bigger um, three and a quarter are on these sides, and this was the two and a quarter. So I'm gonna cut those out on here. I am using an air racing pin and it's quickly disappearing on me. <laughs> Hurry. So there you have those. All right, next step. So just like we did on the outside, we're gonna um, put the straight edges together and we're gonna sew down these two sides at half an inch. So right sides together. It's kind of hard to tell which is the right side of my fabric here. It's a dark navy. Do a chain stitch. And the same thing, we're going to open this up and stitch across the bottom with your seam splay open. Now, one side we're going to leave open, partially open, to turn them through. Now, I know there are people out there that have um, done a drop-in. I, I personally think it's just as easy to turn them. It's and easy, it takes a hot minute to turn them. So you're using a quarter inch seam allowance here too. Mm -hmm. I leave uh, a little bigger than that. I'll show you. Well, 
it's probably just a two inch, I should say. It's not really much more than a two inch. So that's the hole I left. Uh, let's see how big it is. It's a three. Uh, no, it's 2.75. So it's not very thick. It'll be fine for this. You'll see how long it takes me to turn. It's not terrible. I do my little 90 degrees, even though there's not much there. Just in case, you know, it's a lot of pressure on that. Look at all that thread. I just vacuumed it here, too. Put your lining inside, I mean your exterior inside your lining. Just like that. Uh, hold on a second. So it's a snug fit and don't be afraid of that. It's meant to be a snug fit. So I've got my right sides together. And I'm just going to clip around the top here. Matching up your side seams and splaying open your seams. You could trim these, I suppose. I didn't. She probably tells you to. Mm -hmm. going to sew around the top we're going to sew around the top at let me see quarter inch seam, yeah. Now I haven't made these since I got my cylinder arm, but I'm just gonna stay right here, I think. And do it on my flatbed. It'd probably be easier to do it on Thor. Hmm, thank you. I'm thinking as I'm clipping.
I've been wanting to make some more of these for a while. And I just didn't get to it until today. Let's do it. Mm. It's just as easy to do over here. I mean, it would be easier mm. over on Thor probably, mm. but this is fine. You just have to squish it. sure you caught your lining all the way around and I did okay perfect let's do this other one Perfect. That really wasn't too bad, so. Would it have been easier on Thor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not bad at all. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Let's do it. Let's turn it. <clears throat> This is probably the smaller <clears throat> of my two holes.
do a last question. Once you get it started, it's really not too bad. Getting it started is probably the hardest part. My neighbor is out there um, power washing his driveway. <laughs> so I don't, <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear it or not. That's what it is. It's coming. It may not look like it, but it is. The foam obviously makes it harder to turn because it's thick, you know? And you gotta go. You gotta go slow because you don't want to. My lining is just uh, 300 denier um, waterproof canvas, so I don't want to tear that. Up. Here it comes. There we go. That really was not too bad. I know it may have looked painful, but it was not. Very cute. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's close up our little hole. A little top stitching here to close that up. And then we'll do a top stitch on the bag, the basket. Mm And it's meant to have a little lip. It's kind of like a fault binding. You just want to make sure it's pretty even all the way around. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. They're not meant to be perfect. You know, they're little baskets to hold little sundry items. I love them. <laughs> so there it is. That's how it's going to look. Isn't that? I think I will go do the top stitching on Thor. I just think it'll be easier. So let's turn this, I'll turn this on fast forward.
let's see how Thor does. I did change my thread to a dark navy, just so it's not as contrasting. Oh, Thor, he's a beautiful thing. Get my foot over here. This is why I got Thor, to be able to do stuff like this so much easier. I'm, I mean, there's just no comparison, really. Look at that. And here's my, uh, there you go. Oh, my Thor, my Thor, my Thor. I mean, you saw how easy that was. It's just, there's a, uh, if you're on the fence about getting a cylinder, I would, I would jump off. If it's not a matter of money. I had to save for a couple of years, so. I get it. There we go. These are the cutest little baskets. I mean, I just love them. Here, let me put this stuff in here. I mean, they hold a ton, too, really. So now I have two new baskets for my sewing room and my fabric cutting room. So thanks for watching, guys. I am going to go and make my husband some lunch and take it over. He's working over on the, at the condo. So I'm going to take him some lunch. So... I hope you guys are having a good Saturday, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.